Welcome to the Fit Mama podcast where it's all about gaining your health back as a busy woman and mom, and doing it without sacrificing time with your family or business. Here is your host, mompreneur and Fit Mama health coach, Angela Campbell. Okay, what is up? Uh, podcast time. I'm excited about today's uh, podcast because we're talking about stress. Oh my goodness. Uh, if you're under stress right now, you should listen to today's, um, you should definitely be listening to today's podcast, right? So super quick before I dive in, uh, oh, I can see us. Yes. I wanted to make sure because I'm using a new software today. <laughs> All right. So here goes, you guys. I want you guys to participate with me today. Um, and if you are obviously in my Facebook group, you can see me right now live, right? So if you're in my in my Fit Mompreneur Facebook group, you can totally see me live right now. So if you can, say hi to me, um, right? And, uh, and let's get the show on the road, right? So here goes, you guys. Let's talk about stress. Um, today we are talking about stress. Today's Fit Mama podcast number three. Fit Mama podcast number three. I'm super excited about this, you guys. So here's the thing. Can stress affect your weight loss? Okay, if you know the answer to that, go ahead and drop it below. In the comments, drop it below and tell me yes. I hope your answer is yes because I'm going to tell you right now what your answer is. It's yes. Okay, and in today's episode, we're going to talk about it. Um, in today's episode, you're going to learn three things. We're gonna, I'm going to talk about three major things. Okay, and uh, the first one being what are the major causes of stress, right? Um, we all walk around stressed out most of the time. Well, I don't say all, but right now in this time of the world, most people are crazy stressed, right? If you are stressed, put stress in the comments, okay? Um, but in this episode, like I said, we're going to talk about the causes. I'm going to talk to you about the number, uh, or the not the number one, like the number, I don't know, I think I wrote down five, six, seven, uh, the top causes of stress. I'm also going to talk to you a little bit about the health risks. Uh, related to stress because I see a lot of people that are unhealthy in all kinds of ways, not just weight gain. Um, and a lot of it has to do with your stress. So I really want in my, my goal of today's broadcast is to make you aware of some things that are causing you stress that we can actually work on and fix. Right. And then that was the third factor. And the third thing that I'm going to talk about in the podcast today is how you can manage your stress a little bit better guys. And some of these things you can do in less than 10 minutes a day. And if you're in my mompreneur Facebook group, if you're not, totally join us. You can go, uh, you can, the easiest way is to go to my website. It's www.acfitmama.com. And there's a button on the main page that says join our community, right? So it's a community for any woman um, whatsoever. You don't have to be a mompreneur to be in that group. But we are doing a challenge this week and we are all practicing together about managing our stress. Um, and then also, of course, if you're in my group and you're tired of failing, you're tired of no, not seeing any results and you're trying to do it by yourself, but you're truly serious and you know you need to make a change. Um, if you're in my group, you'll see a link above. Just click a time. Let's chat. It's a free, free. Let's let's sit together and talk a little bit about it. Or if you're listening to this later on the podcast, same thing. You can go to my website, acfitmama.com slash chat and same thing. Schedule a time. Let's take some time together and figure out what needs to work for you. Because then again, in my group, so many women are, are sharing the results. You're seeing women that are losing weight, shrinking their belly fat. If you want to shrink your belly fat, put belly fat down below in the comments. Um, and, uh, and they're finding ways. They're crazy busy, just like all of us, right? But they're finding ways to fit it in and remembering how important it is, right? So the million dollar question I always get is, how can I do what she's doing? Right? How can I do that? How in the world with my schedule can I do that? Ladies, I see people doing this all the time. It's just a matter of finding what works for you and also maybe even having somebody help you do it. Right? Um, that's that's the big thing. So stress factors, you guys, stress can be such a such a detriment to your health. Um, right? So okay, we're gonna talk about it today. Like I said, if you're not in my group, join it. Uh, let's let's chat if you need extra help, you guys. But I want to give some shout outs. I love to start every podcast with a shout out to a couple women that I am working with and I'm seeing having amazing results. And then I'm going to dive into the nitty gritty of what you guys want to hear about today, right? So first, I want to give a couple shout outs. The first shout out is for Alma, Alma Jacobson this week. Amazing. I want to I want to give you a big shout out because you did the hardest thing. And that's simply getting started. Uh, and you've already gotten some of your workouts 
uh, started and you are a crazy, crazy busy woman, right? You're a busy woman. You're an entrepreneur. You're a mom. You're in school. You have a job. Guys, I want you to understand she's making it happen though. And so all my big shout out for you. Um, another woman who I'm working with and coaching is uh, Julie Reynolds. Um, you're on vacation right now, so you may not be watching this whatsoever. I'm hopefully, hopefully you are detoxing and getting rid of some of your stress with your vacation with your family. Um, but I wanted to give her a shout out because she uh, is doing her workouts while on vacation. You guys, that takes a lot of discipline because a lot of us go on vacation and are like, ooh, throwing everything out the window. Uh, worst thing to do. And then the last shout out that I want to give is also to Echo. Echo Hill, if you catch this later, like I'm so stoked and I'm so proud of you because I see what you do for other women and inspiring them to do a lot of things and live a healthier, happier life, right? Um, and you are taking it, you, you, you trusted me for one to help you. And so I love that because Echo, you guys has uh, reached some major goals, losing inches, losing belly fat, gaining some strength. And she's finally, after months and months and months of hitting a plateau, we have crushed that plateau and she keeps um, um, dropping and is now in the lightest weight she's been in a long time. And guess what she's doing, y'all? She is eating more. She's eating more. How many of you guys have ever heard someone tell you, uh, you need to eat more? It works, I promise. So again, um, let's talk about it. What, let's talk about stress. Let's, let's dive into it. The first I want to talk about is some causes of stress. Uh, and some of these are given, you know, a lot of these things we know, you know, what causes of stress, but there's one important thing that I'm going to talk about today that you may not, not that you don't realize, but sometimes it takes someone else to point this out to you to realize that sometimes we are creating a lot of our own stress. Okay. So I'm going to talk about that one last, right? But, um, here's some of the top causes of stress, a weight loss journey. That's way too complicated. Okay, um, if this, if you've ever experienced this, just drop me in the comments. I love if you're watching this on the live stream or on the replay later, definitely just put me down in the comments if you've ever just felt more stressed about your weight loss journey because it was complicated and it was creating so much extra stress in your life. This is very common. And this is a very common with the women that I talk to. We have a way different approach that we're doing because I don't want to add extra stress to anybody that's trusting me to work with them. I want to take it away but still help them lose weight, reach their goals, be a healthier, happier person, right? So weight loss journey is something that I have seen people get so stressed about um, rather than the opposite, right? Because a lot of times it becomes too complicated. Hey, um, I hope you heard my shout out to you. What's up, Linda? Um, and so weight loss journey is one of them. How about family? You know, this is a given we, we love and we pour everything into our family, but sometimes it can be the, one of the biggest causes of our stress. Maybe it's um, a family member that's sick that you're taking care of. I know a lot of people in this situation right now, um, or, or maybe it's, you know, maybe it's your kids, right? Like, hello, moms, uh, just give me a crazy face emoji. If you were watching and you were able to comment right now. Because sometimes it's just being a mom is stressful, right? Because you have everything on your plate. You're trying to take care of your kids. Maybe your kids have all this bottled up energy and you don't have any. And that stresses you out because they're going 90 miles an hour, right? Like, hello, this happens often. I have a two-year-old little boy right now that it does not stop the second he wakes up, right? Like drop below the age of your kids if you're a mom and you're watching. Um, my two year old little boy is like, I mean, he is, he is on fire, like climbing on everything, eating everything, doing everything that he shouldn't be doing, but he's doing, um, and causing a lot of stress, <laughs> causing a lot of stress right now, just because I have to keep up with him and keep him safe. Um, so anyway, family's one of them. Finances is a huge stress y'all. This is probably the, um, probably the number one. And especially right now in today's world, y'all, COVID hit a lot of people on the financial side. Um, and if you're comfortable saying um, finances, drop finances in the comments if you're stressing about it. Or maybe you're someone, like I'll admit, I'm someone who that's probably one of my biggest stresses. And sometimes there's no reason in the world I should be stressed, but I am. I um, allow it though. I, I, you know, my husband is the opposite of me. So he's very good balance. So it's cool to have someone that can remind you. Finances though can be a crazy, crazy stressor. Um, on yourself, on your family, um, and, and and it's just it's something that maybe maybe not go away, but learning how to handle it better um, can help you, right? And here's the number one cause of stress that I really wanted to talk about a lot more, especially uh, obviously because I love sharing and talking to women about this because because um, um, ourselves ourselves 
Okay. Um, and if you feel like this is you put guilty, just drop guilty in the comments. Cause a lot of times the stress that we have, I'm not saying all of it, but a lot of times it can be self-inflicted. I've seen a lot of people, a lot of women, especially because we want to take care of everybody else and we want to, we want to, we want to do it all. Okay. Women, we are so guilty of this. We want to do it all, all the time. We're always wanting to take on everything. We don't want to ask for help. Right. Like I talk about this a lot with the women um, in my group and in, in just in general, we don't want to ask for help. You know, I, I'm so bad about that, too. Like, so if you struggle with asking for help, just put help in the comments below and let me know if that's you. Because no, you're not alone. You're not alone. Um, but we call so much extra stress on ourselves because we try to do everything by ourselves. We don't have, we rarely ask for help. Here's another one. A lot of women, we will constantly look at everybody else around us and uh and compare ourselves we compare ourselves to someone else's journey and do you realize that is causing so much stress on you too you cannot compare yourself to everybody else because everybody's going to be totally different some people on a weight loss journey are going to rapidly want, lose weight while you're stuck up here for weeks upon weeks upon weeks upon weeks um until yours finally starts to hit right you know it gets different and there's so many factors for that right that'll maybe do a, another podcast on that one right um and so all this comparing Guess what it also does? It creates this, this um, barrier in your mind. You don't have a positive mindset about yourself. You're not believing that you're even worthy uh, of, of continuing on your journey, right? Or just to have, how about this? If you're in my group this week, you know, we, we Monday we talked about me time. And I challenged you guys to have some me time. 15 minutes is all I asked you to do. And then the next day I asked you to do, take some deep breaths. It was three minutes for the entire day. These are things that you can carry on over into your to your future, right? Um, and then today we're spreading some positivity. Yesterday we talked about gratitude. Like these are little things that will shift your mindset will also help reduce your stress. Um, which I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more in this in a second. I totally uh, jumped, I jumped into the last segment here. Um, but we, we create more stress, you guys. We ourselves as women and moms especially create more selves because we just wanna do it all. We think we're super women and we can do it, right? Um, and we don't put ourselves first ever. And sometimes if we do, we'll shift and we'll go putting ourselves first for a week and we fall off the bandwagon and we just don't do it. We just not doing it anymore. Right? So I want you to think about those things because guys, there's a lot of those things that I mentioned that we could maybe correct that we could correct and create healthier habits so that we're not, not so stressed all the time. Cause guess what? We're going to talk about health risks next. When you are constantly stressed. Okay. I want you to think about the health risks that you're putting yourself under and i know if you're listening to this it's because you care about yourself and you don't like being stressed out um hey son what's up friend um and so the thing whenever you are totally stressed it affects your hormones women hormones are evil anyway we don't need to add extra help to them right and so when you are crazy stressed it affects your hormones and then it affects this thing that, that all of us hate is we pack on weight. A lot of times we'll either gain weight, especially around the belly area. If you have a lot of extra belly weight, belly fat that you want to get rid of, a lot of times that can be something as simple as your stress levels. We need to work on all kinds of things, diet, nu um, uh, nutrition, and, and fitness, right? But don't forget the stress management. It has to be a part of your routine. Um, and so, cause so, so, so the, the health risks are weight gain, right? We don't want to, we don't necessarily want to gain weight, right? But if you stay stressed out all the time, you will either gain weight. And, and a lot of times it goes right to that belly area, which every woman I talk to that need, is asking me for help is nine times out of 10, the number one area they want help with is their belly. Um, it just, it's where it goes when we stay stressed out. Um, and, uh, among many other factors, right? So, or how about this? You may be on a weight lost journey right now that you're not losing like nothing is working nothing no matter what you do no matter what you take no matter how hard you work out no matter how clean you eat there's nothing there's nothing the scale ain't moving the inches aren't moving you're not seeing any change if this is you i really highly want you to listen to all these things i'm saying because it very likely could just be a shift in you managing your stress a little better because your hormones may be totally out of whack because the stress is through the roof i mean that alone will prevent weight loss Okay, so um, weight gain, belly fat, and guess what? When you have excess belly fat, okay, it's called visceral fat, and it's all the fat that surrounds your organs. It creates all kinds of issues, and the next thing you know, you have a heart disease. You have heart problems. Okay, heart disease is a really high, um, you know, issue uh, with excess uh, belly fat if you have too much. 
right? So heart disease, how about fatigue? Do you walk around tired all the time, no matter what you do, no matter what you take? I could have you work out, I could have you eating clean, I could have you taking some amazing products um, that a lot of that myself and a lot of people are taking, um, but you're still tired. Um, so a lot of times stress can also cause you to be very fatigued no matter what you do. Um, how about anxiety? If you suffer from anxiety, sometimes um, there can be a lot of issues going on there, but you guys, stress definitely doesn't help it. It usually actually makes it worse, right? So anxiety, sleep. Are you having trouble sleeping? Okay, if you're having trouble sleeping, maybe look at your stress levels. Um, and then I'm gonna talk about some things you can do in a minute to help reduce all these, right? Um, how about, here's one, women, this is one we probably don't ever wanna talk about, but it's lack of sex drive. You don't want your husband, husband to have, touch you. Like, I'm just gonna be real and put that out there. It's something most of us don't wanna talk about. Um, but guys, it could be very likely just be your stress levels. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll be transparent. There was a point in my time that I went to the doctor to get my hormone levels checked because I was like, something is not right. I have nothing. <laughs> Poor husband. Uh, but it's, it's been managing stress, the, those things. So if that's something that you deal with, you guys just know there's, there's things that you can do. But also, more importantly, I want you to know you're not alone. Like, there's other, uh, other women all over the world going through all these same things with you, right? So those are a lot of the health risks when it comes to extra stress. You guys, if you're carrying too much stress, um, you're going to, you know, create a lot of health risks as well. And I know you want to be healthy. And I know you want to be around longer for your kids, for your family, and take care of everybody else, right? Um, and here's some ways to reduce your stress that you can do naturally. You can start these things today. Um, like I said, if you're in my Fit Mompreneur group, you've been learning these things this week. And if you're in there, but maybe you haven't been able to follow along, like go back. Like you can never, you, you can never de-stress too much, right? Um, so I feel like um, this is something very important. If you're not in my group, get in there. I, you can go to um, the best place, like I said, is my website, acfitmama.com. And it's on the main page. It says join my community, right? Um, and so here's some things you can do to, to, to relieve some stress. Um, I love you guys. I love you guys sharing me, sharing. Oh, I'm seeing your comments. I love it. Okay. Um, yeah, Amber. Okay. I see that. Yeah. It, the, the epidemic going on has really created so much stress for so many people. Um, son, girl, we need to talk. Let's, let's, re let's relieve some of your stress, girlfriend. Um, okay. So here's some things that you can do. And, and if, again, if you're following the challenge I got going on in my group, you know, some of these already, cause we, we've been working on me time. How hard, if, if getting some me time to yourself, I'm talking five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. On Monday, I challenged the women in my group to find 15 minutes of your day where nobody is around but yourself and no electronics were allowed and no guilt. You had to put the guilt, guilt aside. Uh, 15 minutes a day. Spend, if you got nothing else, like get up 15 minutes earlier before your kids wake up or put your kids to bed and spend 15 minutes in quiet time. I had a lot of women that were just sitting on the back porch drinking coffee and having some quiet time, listening to the sounds of nature. That is so peaceful, you guys, but think about it in a more way of relieving your stress. None of us wants to walk around as monster moms. I know I've been there, um, and I think, I think any mom probably has been there, right? Um, but your me time, and I know right now with the pandemic and so many people are at home and stuck at home and their kids are home more, you know, especially when you have little ones, you can't even go to the bathroom by yourself. <laughs> like that struggle is real. <laughs> um, but if getting me time is hard for you, just drop hard in the comments. I would love to see, you know, as I want others to, uh, the main thing in the comments, I want other people to realize that they're not by yourself. You're not by yourself if you find finding me time hard. Um, the second one is workout. Okay, hello. A workout can be anything from crazy hardcore intense if that's you or just taking a walk in the neighborhood. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, just take a walk. Okay, if you're in Texas, it's crazy hot, so try to do it early or try to do it later, right? Or make sure you're drinking water and don't go crazy far. Um, but take your kids or your dog for a walk. You know, there's there's a workout. It, it's moving your body or just count your some your count your steps, right? So how about breathing? Okay, this is something we did on Tuesday inside my group, and this is something that I still have my alarm set on my phone, and I'm never going to turn them off because I'm going to do this on a daily basis, and I hope you are too, right? If you are. Put breathe, drop breathe below. I'd love to see if you're doing it too. So breathing, all we did was we set three alarms throughout the day and it was, it went off and, the, and our alarms were supposed to say breathe. Um, and during that, that when your alarm goes off, you're supposed to stop what you're doing, set a 60 second timer on your phone, your watch, whatever, and just close your eyes and breathe. 
take some deep breaths in your nose, out your mouth. And believe it or not, it's so relaxing. Um, but you don't just do it for the one day that I challenge you. Carry that on to your future. Breathing and slowing down and taking some really deep breaths. I had some women reach out and tell me that that little exercise and that alarm went off at the perfect timing because they were about to blow a fuse. And they stopped and they went and they took those deep breaths and they were able to handle whatever was stressing them out at the time so much better than they ever were before, right? So breathing. Gratitude was another one, something we did yesterday. That's one of my favorites always, that if you can practice gratitude every day, even if you only write one thing a day that you're grateful for, what does that do? It shifts your mindset to remember what you're thankful for, the things that you do have in your life instead of stressing over what you don't have, right? Because it's really easy to stress over what we don't have. We do that all the time. That's easy. Um, but we want to you shifting your mindset. And one of the best ways is to practice gratitude every day, just writing down something that you're grateful for every day. Um, praying is a good one. I know a lot of people took some extra prayer time, you know, and that's one that on my list, I actually wrote myself a new every day to do list. Uh, and that's on there. Uh, me time, which is usually my workout or personal development. Um, in prayer and spend a couple minutes in some prayer. If, if, you know, if you are close to your faith and that's something that, that sets your soul on fire, then include it. Right. So prayer, how about reading? Um, if you like to read, I'm an audible person, so I am not the best at reading. Although when I do it, it's, I'm very relaxed, right? Uh, read something positive, get some positivity in between your ears. Um, and then the last one is get help. This is what I already kind of talked about, but one of the best ways, to also relieve some stress is to ask for help. You guys, I am, and this can be in any, any form or fashion. If you can outsource something, do it. Um, it's the best thing, honestly, that I have ever done. If you, a lot of people ask me, like, how do you do all the things that you do? Holy cow. I'm like, I don't do it by myself. I've asked for help. I've got um, a team behind me now that works with me and helps me do a lot of the things that you see me do. Um, and my mom, like my kids would be running around, climbing on stuff, knocking my light over if they were home. They're at my mom's right now. So ask for help. It doesn't always have to be something that you have to pay for. Maybe it's a neighbor. I, I have some pretty amazing moms in our neighborhood that all have kids around the same age. So a lot of times we help each other. Like, okay, how about you watch the kids for a few hours, give me a break, and then we'll swip swap. You know, it doesn't have to be something that you financially have to pay for to get help. Just ask for help. Maybe it's your spouse. I know that was a big one for me. I always felt guilty asking my husband for help, which sounds really crazy as I say that out loud because he's always way willing to help. Steps in anytime I need it. He's never complained. Like, and I can honestly say that that and and that's so much truth behind that but i got in my own way a lot and never asked him for help dumb on my part because all that did was leave me stressed out right so um i hope you got some value from this and i hope there's things that i, I shared with you today that can resonate with you and maybe realize okay maybe i am a lot more stressed than i thought i was because of what she just said made so much sense right or maybe you can incor incorporate some of these things that i did talk about to help you relieve some stress um, and so I would, you know, again, if you are on one of those struggles, um, and you're like at a point where like, I need help. I don't know what I'm doing. It's not working. Nothing's happening. If you're in my Facebook group, again, there's a link above, click it, find a time that you and I can and get together and just talk about it, like figure out what it is that you maybe need, maybe find something that, that could work for you. Um, or if you're listening to this, uh, on the podcast, you can also just go to my website, acfitmama.com slash chat, C-H-A-T. And then again, just schedule a time or join my group for sure. If you're not already in it, acfitmama.com and there's a button on the, on the main page, right? So here's my last final thought, you guys, that I want to share with you today. If you're trying to lose weight, you're working out really hard, uh, you think you're eating clean because a lot of people will think they're eating clean and, and they might be, but a lot of times you're just not eating enough food. I see this is a very common thing. Um, and, uh, it, but nothing's happening. Nothing's working. I want to ask you, when is the last time you did any of these things to help relieve, relieve some stress, some stress? Blech, I can't even talk. Uh, how, when is the last time you relieved some stress in your life? So any of these things that I mentioned you can do um, on a daily basis. Guys, one day was just literally three minutes of your day, and you just need to stop in the moment. Maybe you have to lock yourself in the bathroom to have 60 seconds to yourself, then lock yourself in the bathroom and get 60 seconds to yourself to do nothing but take a nice deep breath um, and watch your stress relief. And guess what? These things are going to help your your health risks like crazy. And, and this one little tweak sometimes 
can get the ball rolling on your health and weight loss journey too. So um, again, thank you so much for tuning in. Those of you guys are still with me and watching live, or if you're listening to this later on a replay, thank you so much for watching. Um, usually it takes a couple days and it will also be live on the podcast um, so that you can listen back to it anytime while not having to necessarily watch a video. Right. Um, and so uh, that is it. You guys happy Thursday. Have an amazing day. In my Facebook group, uh, again, keep participating, keep commenting, share the, the what you're doing today to, to spread some positivity to others. That's the challenge for today. Um, and and then also I do I do giveaways on a weekly basis for those of you guys that participate in there, whether you're commenting, posting, liking, loving, just supporting each other because I really want each other, we want to support each other, you know, not just me, right? Um, so... Uh, that is all I got. Yes, Linda. Berlinda said breathing breaks is amazing. It is so awesome. It really is, and it's so simple. Um, and it, but it, but it can work, right? So yes. All right, you guys. I'm gonna hop off. And thank you so much again for listening. I can't wait uh, to hear from you guys and see if you incorporate any of these things and how much better that you feel when you do. All right, y'all have an amazing day.